So very good evening to everybody. Today, what exactly we are starting? We are going to start something called how to use good time in your sentence. Because you know, every day you are coming across so many situations where you can use good time. So why good time? Good time is actually a phrase related to time. You know, to speak English fluently, you need two things. What are the things? Like you need something called the structure. The other part is called vocabs. You know structure and vocabs and little bit of practice. If you follow the three reasons correctly, I'm sure you can speak English fluently, right? So today in this particular session, after two days long, uh, well deserved hiatus, we are going to start the session, right? So we are going to learn something called how to use good time in a sentence formation. Because you know, uh, uh, some other way, you are using good time unknowingly. So what are the situations? Let's study in details, okay? So I'm going to, you know, just uh, put a screen before you, just check it out. I'm not going to write anything on the board. I'm going to straight away uh, check some things on the board itself. It's clearly visible to everybody. It's clearly visible. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Yes, so sir. just check it out. Just check it out. The meaning and uses of good time. Many a times we use good time. So what are the time? What are the situation where you can use good time? The first, you know, we can use the same thing in three different ways. The first thing is will have a good time. Whenever I say have a good time, that means obviously this can be used in uh, present tense, it can be used in <coughs> past tense, and it can use it future time also. So whenever I say uh, have a good time, that means you are enjoying yourself in a particular activity. The activity can be a function, can be any kind of celebration, or it's uh, any kind of, uh, you know, you can say particular uh, picnic, something like that you have undertaken. Normally, you are going to derive a lot of pleasure. You are going to derive a lot of pleasure. So what are the situation? Suppose, you know, if I'll ask you, uh, like, you know, Manin, madam, like, uh, how's your day yesterday? You can say, I had a good time. I had a good time. I mean to say that means you enjoy a lot, okay? And others, suppose I'll ask uh, Asuk, sir, what you are doing right now? Sir, don't disturb me. I'm having a good time with my friend, sir. So, having a good time or have a good time means it is. Hello, sir, your voice is not audible, sir. Not audible? It's not audible to everybody? Hello, Ashish? Yes, sir, yes, sir. sir. Not audible, sir. No, maybe some network issue you are facing, ma'am. So that's why before recording the session, I have, you know, whenever you are able to not understand me or you are some audible or, you know, audio issue, please log out, log in. Then you can get it. Okay. So let me tell you something called, like, no, have a good time. Have a good time means you can use it whenever you are trying to derive pleasure from a particular activity. Suppose if I ask you, look, I have given a sentence before you, but you have written it. We had a good time at the circus yesterday. Suppose you have you visited a circus yesterday and you enjoyed a lot. You enjoyed yourself a lot. Okay. So whenever you enjoy something that you can say, it's a good time. That means you are trying to derive pleasure. Suppose I can say, uh, I can say like this. Uh, uh, let me give you another example. Uh, I can say, let's uh, have a picnic tomorrow. Let's have uh, a good time tomorrow. Let's have a picnic tomorrow, so we'll have a good time. That means we can enjoy. So basically, the word enjoy, you can use with have a good time. So sometimes you are in, if I'll ask you, how is the day? Oh, really, we enjoy a lot. So in place of enjoy ourselves a lot, you can use, we had a good time. 
so basically why i always suggest you to use good time because this is a very professional way of you know putting forward your intentions so whenever you say like you know oh, i have a very good time right now or i had a good time yesterday or i'll have a good time tomorrow what do you mean by that that means you are going to enjoy that particular activity or particular uh, you know event on that particular day suppose you say look this is a very you know uh, basically this is how the american people use like this oh have a good time that means enjoy yourself so they don't use uh, something called we are enjoying it. look whenever you say enjoy you are trying to modulate your voice you are trying to use a lot of structures but in in uh, state of that you can use simple have a good time right you can use it in present tense you can say uh, i'm having a good time right now suppose my friend is asis asis is calling me are you busy right now i can say ah don't disturb me i'm having a good time with my friends so i mean to say that having a good time had a good time or will have or have good time that means it indicates that you know you are trying to enjoy something or you have enjoyed a lot you have enjoyed yourself a lot uh, at a particular or in a particular uh, event or at a particular situation right so uh, use it appropriately the first part is clear right now i believe it's clear means you put a thumbs up mark it's clear or any problems everybody okay others lot of people are there fine great okay fine so if i'm not clear you can ask me straight away the second part is something called the second thing is something called like you no know, whenever you want to ask for permission to talk to somebody right suppose you know suppose ashok sir is uh, going to call me after the class is over how is going to ask me sir are you free right now obviously this is the first things normally comes to your mind suppose you are going to give a call to your near and dear ones or your boss your colleague somebody so what exactly you are going to do you are basically putting a question mark like this so you know you can say like this like uh, uh, are you free right now like even i am getting a lot of calls from you the same things you are asking me right so are you free or is it the convenient time for you that may, can i talk to you like that you are telling so in place of can i talk to you or can i uh, do, it, it, it is the right time it is the convenient time you can say it is a good time in place of everything you can say is it a good time good time indicates convenient time free time or you can say right time everything if you mix everything obviously this particular things will come is it a good time to talk to you that means are you free i want to know suppose i am your boss you are going to give me a call how you are going to call me up you cannot say sir are you free right now because my you know uh, something my free is is nothing to do with you 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 cannot ask me what exactly i am doing you can uh, you can ask me in such way that it is not going to hamper my prestige how can you say you can give me a call and tell like that sir is it a good time to stick to you is it a good time to talk to you is it a good time to discuss something with you so good time indicates it is a very professional way of you know put forward a request to start a conversation you might have heard that whenever you are getting pexi calls what do you mean by pexi calls pexi calls means uh, some are you know the that uh, the calls sometimes uh, create irritation in your mindset what are that uh, pexi calls you might have heard uh, something called you know some marketing calls will comes from xyz company they are going to give a call sir i am calling from xyz company do you need this one sometimes you know oh what air morning they have no work only calling me up so that is called pexi calls whenever you know suppose i am going to i am i am initiating a pexi call and my customer is ashok sir so since i know the name i can say am i speaking to ashok kumar hoja he is speaking sir is it a good time to speak to you it's a good time to speak to you that means i want to know whether are you free or it is the right time it is the convenient time 
or it is okay i can you know we can discuss something like that so a good time is indicates basically it indicates a very professional way of you know trying to get some time from the other person suppose i am going to call to uh, swagatika ma'am so i can say the same things like you know am i speaking to swagatika ma'am yes i am speaking so ma'am it's a good time to speak to you or it's a good time to talk to you so whenever it's a good time means i want to know whether are you free to entertain me or are you free to take my call are you free to you know some things called like uh, to have a discussion so like that a good time is a perfect way this is a very professional way of putting forward a request sometimes we say like this you know are you free sir that means uh, it is too much personal suppose if i ask uh, some of you are you free right now i don't think it is always good to ask you know are you free i can say okay uh, i can say like this okay fine uh, you know is it uh, right time to call you is it uh, you know are you free right now these are something called a very profi- you know uh, very personal questions so whether my uh, freeness is nothing to do with your business so you know to be a neutral this is a neutral sentence check it out is it a good time to, to, to uh, talk to you is it a good time to talk to you so next time whenever you are trying to pursue something to have a conversation whenever you are asking for permission to speak something to have a conversation to discuss something you the second sentence that means it's good time means it is the convenient time for you means the right time free time so if you put everything together you can find it out that it is a good time means it is the right time for you it is the convenient time for you are you free right now so we are not exactly you know uh, trying to put every words but with word one sentence it covers everything okay that means this is basically you can find it out whenever you are getting a calls from any call center suppose you are a credit card holder or you are uh, from you you are a uh, good uh, customer of amazon or flipkart something like that you know they are executive they are behind you they always call you you know to improve the service so they'll sir uh, am i speaking to uh, like you know ashok sir yes i'm speaking so i'm calling from amazon india uh, so is it a good time to speak to you or it is a good time to talk to you it's a good time to take your uh, view on it like that so a good time refers to a convenient time free time are you free something like that so uh, now it's clear to everybody can i get a thumbs up if you have any doubt you can ask me okay others fine so uh, the third one let me put it the third one in good time just take it out in good time means like an early ahead of schedule ahead of schedule means every function every activity everything have a time frame suppose you are a college student you have a time i suppose you are taking you know online coaching here you have a time right so you are a uh, you know you are, you are a, you are working in office you have a time so everything and anything and everything have a time remember everything and anything in india basically go anywhere in the world because time rolls you everywhere you cannot you know do whatever suppose uh, you are going to sleep you have a time you want to take some food you have a time so exactly suppose uh, you want just take out the sentence whenever say i always reach my office in good time what do you mean by that that means ahead of the schedule suppose our office timing starts uh, our office is at 10 o'clock i can say before 10 o'clock if i am reaching there i can say i am in good time so basically whenever say i am good time i mean to say that i am basically you know at that particular time so now the three part is clear to everybody have a good time is it a good time to talk to you so good time can be used in three different ways the first one i can show you my friends one is called that is whenever you are trying to derive uh, whenever you are trying to derive pleasure you are trying to you know enjoy yourself you can you say have a good time i had a good time i'm having a good time like that you can say or whenever you say good time you are trying to ask for permission to start a conversation that means you are asking for the right time convenient time 
are you free something like that you can say is it a good time to talk to you it's a good time to have a conversation with you suppose i am sitting right now in my office and uh, uh, you know swatika mom is on to me right now i am his manager i am her manager she can come and tell sir uh, i need to discuss is, i need to discuss some project related matter is it a good time to discuss regarding this so means you are asking for my availability you are asking for whether i am free in that particular point of time and in good time means in time you know on time and in time suppose 10 o'clock sharp you have office at 10 o'clock you can say i am on time means sharp 10 o'clock in time means before that that is called in time so in good time means early i have schedule suppose you say i always reach my office in good time in good time is equal to in time in good time is sometimes used in a very you know formal manner i am always in good time i always in good time to the office that means i reach in well before the schedule now this part is clear to everybody ask me have any doubt yep everybody okay well, if this part is clear any doubt ask me don't be uh, you know uh, now this part is clear recording is there so no need i'm going to stop sharing right now okay so what do you understand from this particular point you understood that that for each and everything for each and everything you need a structure you want to speak something you need a structure okay so right now two things are required one is called structure other is called vocab two things are required one is called structure other is called vocab two things are required to start a conversation to start a conversation two things are required apart from uh, you know that is called something called what you can call it the practice practice more or less depends upon it okay i have nothing to do that but the, the structure part as well as the i mean i want to say that vocab part largely depends upon me because i have a massive contribution i will do massive contribution towards it so i have given you some structures how to use good time okay so uh, once the session is over we are going to discuss right now i want to tell you something about vocabs okay so i am to share a screen before you just check it out this is not the one fine so oh, very few guys have joined so far so it's quite difficult just check check it out whether i can run that things or not but uh, today i just want to ask you like uh, uh, i think ashok sir what you have learned so far from this three things i have already informed you like how to use good time so are you clear on that particular concept or you have any doubt on that front sir ashok first sir. one the enjoy, sir the first one the enjoying oneself doing a particular activity sir once more sir i want to learn once more Yep. Now, otherwise, to the second and third is clear, sir. First one, some doubt. Okay. So, whenever it's a first one, suppose you have, uh, you know, yesterday you have uh, enjoyed something. Yesterday you have enjoyed something. You can say I had a good time. You where you have enjoyed? Suppose you have uh, gone to, uh, you gone, uh, you went to a particular place. Let it be, it is magic show. If as if uh, you know I'm your good friend, I'll call you off and say that how was uh, the show yesterday? Uh, what do you say? Really, I enjoyed it. So in place of enjoyed, you can say like you know I uh, I really enjoyed it means enjoyed it. You can say I had a good time. Have a good time means that is have past tense is had. You can say had a good time. What is the problem? I okay. had a good time. Uh -huh. Sir, I mean, we can use only in the past time. No, no, no. 
whenever you enjoy something suppose you enjoy something you can say i had a good time here i had a good time there so like that suppose uh, if i ask you 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 enjoy suppose you went to puri and you enjoyed there how how can i enjoyed myself at the sea beach so in place of i enjoyed myself at the sea beach you can say i had a good time at the sea beach suppose you are right now enjoying with your friends uh, you are some five to six friends uh, you are just um, sitting to there and chit chatting so if i'll call you sir are you busy right now yes sir um, uh, possible call me tomorrow because i am having a good time with my friends that means i am enjoying myself like that now it's clear or you have any doubt no, sir clear sir okay any other things like other people swagatikam ma'am assist everybody please it's clear <laughs>